DCEU Joker is Jason Todd. Oh, baby. Oh, yo, yo, mama. <laughs> Oh my god. Zooey mama, this is what I want to hear, okay? This is my shit. Here, boys. You got my fucking boy Jason Todd in this bitch. You got my motherfucking boy Joker in this bitch. Well, he's not my boy because he's fucking evil. But you get what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. Now, take your take your sort of self back to the release of the original Suicide Squad. Whoa. Okay. Put yourself in the perspective of us viewers. Um, Batman v Superman, I think, was already out. We knew Robin died. Okay, we knew that there was a massive chance that Jason Todd was that Robin because we all know death in the family. Okay, um, we all knew what was going to be revealed, perhaps revealed, uh, in terms of Jason Todd being in this world. It was later debunked, okay, that it was Dick Grayson, which is pretty annoying. You might as well just make it Jason Todd at that point, quite quite frankly, or Tim Drake, because having Dick Grayson killed off is just, I, I can never recall Dick Grayson even, like, um, going through something like that, and it doesn't, I, I just don't like it, you know? But because of the precedent of that, okay, in BVS, Batman v Superman, seeing Robin's uh, decayed, uh, well, maybe perhaps not decayed, but Robin's uh, graffitied and memorialistic suit, you know, in in the Batcave. I think it's in the Batcave, isn't it? It's in, the, or is that part of his manner? Uh, with ha 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 written on it. I mean we all are going to think that Jason Todd and the Joker had a little death in the family shit going on here, right? Cut to the release of Suicide Squad. Now, Joker. He's a young he's he's actually quite young, okay? He's got a J <laughs> on his uh, on his face, which yeah, you might go, "Okay, well, you're an idiot. It's Joker." Yeah, that's why he's got a J on his face. He's got damaged on his forehead, as in, you know, maybe damaged by a crowbar <laughs> that has beaten you to death. That would cause, uh, might, might cause a bit of damage, okay? Um, and again, he's quite young. And obviously the precedent of Jason Todd perhaps dying and being in this universe. What did we think? Rightfully so, we thought, well, there's no Red Hood here. There's no Robin here that's being revived. There's no Nightwing. There's no Red Robin. There's nothing going on here, right? So what do we think? That the Joker is Jason Todd. Okay. Now, there were those massive pieces of evidence there that really outlined the theory and really had everyone thinking and got everyone hyped up. But no, 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 he's not. It's just the Joker. And also, it would make a lot of sense in terms of the missing teeth and the grill. I know, obviously, it was supposed to be that the Joker was beaten to hell by Batman, and that's how he lost, like, after he killed what we thought was Jason Todd, was, was Dick Grayson. Um, but no, it's just that it was Dick Grayson that died. Which, you know, I'd like to have a bit of death in the family in my live action universe Batmans. That's amazing. I mean, it's amazing to see that we have anything like that. But it was a bit of a disappointment. But another thing that's also evidence to, to suggests it is that in the Snyder Cut of Justice League, uh, there's a scene where Joker is a part of the remaining League. Uh, or, well, perhaps, you know, they wouldn't want to call him part of the league, but they're working with him, with Joker, and says to Batman when they're talking about Dick Grayson, or what we thought was Jason Todd back in the day, his death, his death, said, you sent a boy to do a man's job. Now, you know, you could overanalyze that and saying, well, he's talking about himself being jason todd uh, or being a being a robin saying that basically he was reborn into a man and he knows what that was like but it also wouldn't make sense why he would say that because you'd think he would address the previous joker because there would have to be some joker that killed uh jason todd right or dick so so then you ask yourself well what if dick is joker but no 
probably not. I mean, it's much more likely that it's Jason Todd, and I think we all know it's, the, you know, not a thing. Zack Snyder's not said anything about it, and I think he's debunked it as well. But I really like the idea that instead of becoming Red Hood, uh, Jason Todd becomes Joker and becomes the thing that killed him. And it's almost like a therapeutic, cathartic thing, in a sense, and beca becoming this new version of the Joker. And I think it worked really well in that universe because it doesn't feel like a an original, or not original, but it doesn't feel like a first Joker just because of how young he is and how different he is. You know, like that Joker would have to be, I want to say 10 years younger than Ben Affleck's Joker. Ben Affleck's Joker, Ben Affleck's Batman, which would mean that he wouldn't really he would be way too young to be the Joker, you know, uh, when at the beginning of Batman's career, which we all know he probably was a part of, he was probably in that part of the timeline. Um, so that doesn't make any sense. And it would make sense why he's that he's the second Joker and he would be about around, you know, he could feasibly be around the age of a Robin. Another thing as well is what if the Suicide Squad flashbacks uh, obviously you see Joker's dressed entirely differently. There's the one that is based on the Harley Quinn comic. I think it's Batman Harley Quinn. I think it's called or something like that. Where it's that Alex, I think Alex Ross does the cover. The sort of tuxedo-like uh, design clothing and Harley's wearing the checkered Batman animated series sort of clothing as well. That could be the first Joker. And that's why he looks so different is because it's a different person. Right? I mean, he does look entirely different. Obviously, his bone structure, how he looks as a human being, he looks like the same person. But, I don't know, but there, there could probably be a reason for that. But yeah, I, I'll always love this theory. I always think about this one. It's classic. It's a fucking legendary one. And we love it. We love it here on the Chan, on the channel. Us is about class division. So we all know, you know, Jordan Peele, he's got lots of films under his belt at this point. Lots of really good films. Get Out was an absolute hit. I didn't like Us as much. I haven't watched Nope, but that looks really good. That looks like um, it would be on the level of Get, Get Out. But we all know that he's a he's an amazing, terrific, you know, I've not used the word terrific in a while, uh, horror filmmaker. And not only that, his layered themes, for example, in Get Out about racial superiority about racism about this almost hypocritical racism of you know idolizing black people in and and sort of seeing them as these superior beings that they can breed and create another race in order to use them you know uh in in get out and obviously the hypnosis is the way to get there to sort of build this army but how is this reflected in us well the doppelgangers or the tethered as they're called are almost a representation of the lower class and that they're a lower class reflection of the people, main characters, family in the film, right? And that we're, Peel actually said himself, our own worst enemies, you know, that we can't push ourselves higher to become better. We just detriment ourselves and self-sabotage. That keeps us, I suppose, in this class system, which also plays in our mind as well, I think is the thing, you know, w even if we're against the class system, it's society still pushes it and, and puts these uh, self-sabotaging self-loathing fucking thoughts in your fucking mind that just play at you right and i think us is a great reflection of that i'm personally not a big fan of just how the film is in terms of structure in terms of just how it's presented uh, the mise-en-scene is great but the way that it's overall written i think is like the main reason i don't love it a lot and really really appreciate it but i also do appreciate the layered nature of it and i just think jordan peele he's a fucking master of doing that sort of horror and i'm really excited to see nope actually but it's it's clear that this is true and the film is about that because peele himself says that and we already know that he's got a reputation to have those kind of layered commentaries in his film so yeah it's great the tarantino universe Given the love for Tarantino's films, it's not surprising people want to dive deeper into them, analyzing every aspect of them, specifically the mentions of other characters or other 
films in the universe by that i mean in pulp fiction with mia wallace obviously talking about her role in this other film where she is basically playing the bride from kill bill i mean it's literally the exact same story and the exact same characters as well as obviously vince vega being related to mr blonde whose real name is victor vega those little nods and uh, ties to other things in his universe really come together when you you look at the entire perspective and watch all his films and uh, really analyze those things and think about well you know how are these things related one main thing is that it's it gets complicated in terms of which films actually are films or productions in the world of that film and which characters are in that world so for example like there are two layers it's actually proved to be true uh, he gave details about it in 2017 i think in an interview and he gave very specific details about how those layered uh different world universes collide or come into contact with each other i suppose you could say so there's there are two universes there is the realer than realer world which is basically the main world or mo the world that most of the films take place right so that's your you know that's reservoir dogs true romance pulp fiction death proof inglorious bastards django unchained and the hateful eight and then there's the movie universe which which in the realer than real universe are films if that makes sense it's it kind of gets it's hard to like actually explain it. For example, Mae Wallace talking about her role as a, as I just discussed in Kill Bill. Anyway, this is really cool. Um, and it's really cool that he acknowledged it. Very cool. I gotta say, man, that was a fucking wild ride. It's taken me like ages to to finish Tier Two, and I think it's probably the biggest or I, mean, I don't think it's the biggest but it's one of the biggest on the whole iceberg chart and i know it doesn't look like a big iceberg but it, it when you actually have to research all this stuff and i had chat gpt gpt uh, actually write write up the stuff and give me the sources which thank you chat gpt the the people behind it and the fucking ai uh, because don't fucking I hate how people treat AI like they're nothing. It's like well, you know at the end of the day You're an asshole. You're gonna get fucked over by when judgment day happens, but um it's very uh, very uh, Makes it more efficient, but I don't read it uh, as a, as Almost like you know as a script or as a book. I basically take from different aspects from it and start talking about it and it's kind of a base for what i talk about i don't read and you probably tell by how i fucking can't speak most of the time and there's a lot there are lots of cuts so i can get through it quicker but still get uh get the information out get the feeling out as well get the personality out but yeah you can probably hear my fucking voices going but either way I'm not trying to fucking say her moan. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy making these videos and I really appreciate you guys being so kind and um, yeah, just really, really uh, nice in the comments and really supportive. So <clears throat> thank you to everyone who's been like that. It really does mean a lot, but um, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, the completion of tier two and yeah, it's gonna start to get much, you know, obscure and th ones that i've never heard of i mean i've obviously never heard of some of these two but ones i haven't heard of and i've gone f why did i not think about this so stick around for tier three i might film it now actually um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching take care of yourselves take care of each other and i'll see you out there neon hunting peeps <laughs>